see if he uh, takes my sexy eyes or not. He's got to be there. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. He's not even looking at me, so I'm going to assume that I just, I'm just not his type. I think I'm going to say something. Excuse me, sir. Um, are you looking for me? No, but it's keeping moving. There's this super cute guy at the gym. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I just want to say I think you're really cute, and I was wondering if I could get yourself that. <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, excuse me. I do. Nah. I'm good. <laughs> Trust me. I don't uh, know. You just kind of kind of busted looking. No. Uh, I I go for more like attractive. Women. Got got it. Got it have something that I need to say. I am tired. I am tired of the men that just don't go for it. They, they're just so scared. They think that they're going to get rejected when it's like, bruh, like, just take a freaking chance. I am tired, sick and tired of this, excuse my language, but this pussy energy. I want to be approached. I definitely want to be approached. I would love nothing more than a guy to approach me, to have the balls to come up and say, hey, how are you? Genuine question for you guys. What happened to men being the pursuers? Y'all don't chase anymore. One thing I just genuinely do not understand is why guys don't approach girls anymore, like while they're out at the bar. Maybe guys just don't approach me and that's like a personal problem I need to address at a later date. All right, y'all, here's a question. Why men don't approach women anymore? Hmm. Glad you asked. Let's get into it, family. Happy Saturday, everybody. Number one, the fear of rejection. Women today, as we know, have some unrealistic standards. Some women. Unless he has a six pack, six figure in his six feet, you can't talk to him. Number two, it's not just about the fear of rejection. For some men, it's the fear of being labeled a creep or a predator because the man that's approaching you isn't your type. Mm -hmm. So because he's interested in you, he a creep? Come on now. Number three, online dating which has made it so men don't have to get rejected in person number four social media now you can just run up in somebody dm you don't have to have communication skills i think all this technology and everything has made our communication skills terrible y'all terrible and last we've seen how women will reject men in unnecessarily rude ways it's okay to not be interested to try to embarrass them y'all we gotta stop women are getting very 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 picky very picky it's like you know you got to make six figures you got to have the nice car you got to have the nice apartment that you keep really nice you got to be a protector you know you've also got to let me somehow run the house and be the boss of the house when it comes to big decisions I mean there's not listen you got to be really good looking you got to be in shape and what I always say is you know when you make these demands Always look in the mirror and self-reflect. What are you bringing to the table? What are you willing to do? Do a proper, realistic self-assessment because otherwise you're only hurting yourself. You're going to say, oh, these, all these guys aren't good enough for me. I'm not even going to give them the second look. And maybe there are some really good guys out there that maybe they're not a 10, but maybe you're not a 10 either. And maybe, maybe a realistic assessment of that would open up a whole bunch of really wonderful opportunities for you that could work out really